Hey friends, you are with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop and today I'm going to show you how to address envelopes for those darling Cricut Joy cards that we've been making. So I'm also going to show you how to draw little um, designs and details on your envelope as well. So let's hop over to Cricut Design Space, I'll show you what we're going to do and then we'll hit the craft table. And by the way, if you like what I'm doing here today, I hope that you will give me a thumbs up and I would love for you to join me every week for new videos. Just hit that subscribe button. Alright, let's get going. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space. And what I did is I went in from the home page and just selected a new canvas. And once I got to my canvas, I went ahead and set up my very first envelope. So let me show you how to do that step by step. So what we want to do is go into shapes. I'm going to grab a square. Move it up a little bit. Let's unlock it and then we'll go into the size of this square. Now what we want to do is we want to make it 4.37 by 5.75 and that is the size of the envelope that is inside the Cricut Joy kit and if it's on the cover of the kit box so don't worry that you're going to forget these numbers so it's just right there on the cover along with the size of the um, papers that are on the inside okay so we'll do 5.75 4.37 okay so now we have the size of our envelope and so this is going to perfectly fit right in that card mat um, and you're not going to have to, you know, worry about any sizing issues. Okay, so what I like to do is go up and turn it white. And I am going to relock it just so we don't accidentally move anything around. Now, the key is here, guys, you're not going to cut this square or this rectangle. So when we get done placing all of our information on our... Um, envelope we're going to actually go over into layers and we are going to hide or turn off that square so but for now we'll just turn it back on um, and what we want to do now is we want to think about what kind of font we want to use there are tons of fonts available in Cricut Design Space um, and if you're using it from your desktop you're able to use fonts that are on your desktop as well so what I personally chose were very simple fonts that are easily you know are easy to read if you want to do really fun whimsical you know obviously that's up to you you will have to go into um, the fonts and just adjust the letter spacing a little bit but that's not a big deal um, so let's go and choose text and I ended up if you hop over into layers with me real quick it tells you the name of the font that you used so when I did my original setup I used a font called straight and simple so if we go up into top now one thing I will tell you when you're searching for fonts use this filter go over into filter and you want to select writing it will save you a lot of heartache not every font in Cricut Design Space is good for, or will allow you to write with it um, so what you want to do is you want to do writing and then see all of the fonts that are now up they have the writing feature in them straight and simple okay so we're going to open up a text box and I'm just going to start typing your favorite oops I was spell favorite right sister okay just so you can see kind of how this is going to look and then what you do once you have that and now that you have your envelope you're going to be able to go up and say okay well that's way too big so how about 25 yes that's going to work and so you can somewhat place it where you think that it should be now here's don't panic too much about it being right at the edge or that kind of thing get it where you think it should be and when we finish this design we're going to turn off this rectangle and we are going to attach all of this together so that when it goes to mat none of it shifts or moves so don't fret too much if you think you're a little close to here a little close to here because you're going to attach everything it's going to be all together and then when you take it over to mat you can slightly adjust it on the mat okay so now that I've closed out of that window I just want to show you so you have your return address and then you have your address and if you double click on this then I can take you up and you can see that under more this is where you do alignment um, so my return address is left justified and then I've centered this piece of the address 
And the other things that you can do here are line spacing. So if you feel like this needs to be further apart depending on your font or closer together, um, then you can do line spacing right there. And then um, in that same vein, if you had a curly like font and you wanted to move the letters closer together, you could do that right here with letter spacing. So this would actually decreasing that would pull your letters closer together. So you have tons of options to kind of, you know, make it perfect and beautiful. Um, and the nice thing is, is once you set this up, if you're doing invitations or something, you don't have to change, you know, everything except for um, the to address, right? Now, for the fun part. So now you have your return address and you have your address, and now you want to put some sort of fun element on it. This is actually um, an image. These two, both of these are separate images over in images. And this is one of the reasons, guys, that if you don't have Cricut Access, I love having Cricut Access because I can go in and play around with and use all these different pieces and I don't feel guilty about like buying them onesie or twosie. Like I can really craft and have fun without worrying about, you know, the just spending money each time. I'm just, I, I use it a lot. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but if you craft a lot, it really kind of gives you that crafter's freedom. Okay, so let's go over into images. And what I did is I, start, I searched balloons. It brings up all these different kinds of balloons, but what you should do is go into the left-hand side into art type and choose draw only. And so now it's going to sort out all the ones um, that you don't want. And I chose this balloon, but there's tons of other fun things in here too. So it just depends on what you want. Like if it's a Valentine thing or if it's a love note or whatever you're doing, like this is really fun. I thought this was cool because not only does it have the outline of the balloon, like you can actually color in the balloon with your marker. Um, okay. And so then we would insert that into, and then what I would recommend is taking off the cut. There is an outline cut there. So like if you were crafting it and putting it on something else, you would be able to have that outline background shape. But since we're actually just drawing it straight onto the envelope, we're just going to turn that off. Okay. So I'm actually going to delete that because we already have it. And then I am using a blue marker um, that is one of the joy markers. And so I have turned it blue. Let's just make sure we're grabbing the right one. There we go. So we can go up into the pens and change that. So for me, I am going to be using a marker and it's the blue metallic. And then for the outline, and if you have a hard time grabbing the right one, just go over into layers so you know that you've gotten, the, you know, got the only one. And then you can go up and we're using the fine point black to outline it. Okay, so then I also went in and just chose uh, another image that is literally party time. But you would do the same thing, hopping over into um, search and then typing in whatever you wanted it to be. I mean, it, so, oh, it's the first one that popped up. So party time, or you could have a little hat. I mean, you could, a little gift, all kinds of things. I'm really excited about what I can do with this for Christmas. Um, but then again, if by selecting draw only, you eliminate all those other images that you can't use for this particular thing. Okay, so then we're gonna hit cancel. And what I did is I did the same thing. I went into a marker type and chose the marker and then chose the color um, and then that what so that way too when it goes to matte because I know those are the correct pins the machine's not going to ask me to change out my pin um, it's just going to flow right through and it'll do party time and it'll you know color inside the balloon okay so now that we have everything on the envelope that we want to use we are going to go over into layers and we are going to turn off that square cut that we made. Then we're going to go up to the top, select all, and we are going to attach the whole thing. So now that it's attached, we need to go up and make sure that we have the right machine, Cricut Joy, and then we are going to make it. We are going to do this on the card mat. Okay, so now at this point, I always recommend that you go over to the left and check everything. Check that it only says draw. There's no cut here. 
Okay, so that makes sure that you turned off um, the outline. Um, you don't want it to accidentally like do everything and it's so pretty and then all of a sudden it starts cutting. <laughs> you don't want that to happen. So make sure it just says draw and then we're on the card map. And then when you get to material size, just go in and select the smaller material size. It's a little bit closer to the actual envelope size. Now that being said, if you look over here, um, we are actually going to be, you see the side pieces here, we are actually going to be putting this closer to um, the top because our envelope is going to go in this way. So the flap is actually going to be behind this side where when we're making cards, we're inserting it on this side. So we're going to grab that and we're going to move it up. And the other thing to remember is the envelope is actually 0.25 larger this way. Okay, so whenever it's sitting inside the mat, it's actually going to, this is all envelope, and it comes to here, about right here. Now on the bottom side, there, this, there's no, no envelope actually there. Okay, so if you don't move it up as far as you can, and that's as far as it's going to allow you, right up to the red line, then you're going to have party time's gonna be really, really close to the bottom. Okay, so, and you can even move it over a little bit because again, um, this is part of the actual envelope, right? So you got white space here, you've got white space here, and you will have even more over here than you can actually see. And then this will not be super close, but it'll be closer to the bottom. Um, so with that said, I think we're ready to continue. So it's checking to make sure that our joy is connected and now we can set our material. So the best thing to do is just choose the insert cardstock um, because again, we're writing on it. You're not actually printing, I mean, cutting anything. So you're not so much worried about pressure. So I think it's best just to use the insert card. Okay, and then it's gonna tell you that you need the mat and an additional tool, um, which is the blue metallic and the black. So it's gonna start with the black and then you'll have to swap it out for the blue. Okay, so let's hop over to the craft table. Okay, so here we are on the craft table. Let me show you what we're gonna be working with today. So I have my Cricut Joy, and I have the insert card kit. I have my Cricut Joy card mat, and I have two pens. So this is the metallic marker, which I am really loving these markers. And then this is the Cricut Joy pen, like the one that actually just comes with the machine. Um, and there are tons of different colors and things um, that you can get to go with a Cricut Joy, but this is what I'm gonna use today. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna do is just show you the envelopes. And the, I took these out of this kit. And so the sizing I was talking about is just right here on the cover of the kit. So don't worry again that you're going to forget what that was. So we're gonna take an envelope. I'm gonna take our joy mat and we're just gonna take off that protective film. And what we wanna do is we want to take the envelope and this piece, this flap, we're going to insert it like this in the mat and we're gonna butt it right up against the top of that mat. Now, if you've not used the mat before, the mat's slightly sticky and that's good. So it's gonna hold it in place and then we're just gonna go ahead and feed that into our Cricut Joy. Now I do want you to note, like as I said, there is going to be space here, which typically the card goes in this side, and so it butts right up against this. And then it's slightly longer than what it showed on in Cricut Design Space because again, the envelope is slightly larger. Um, so we're going to be writing here, here, and here. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to unload or take out our blade and set it aside. Then we're gonna take our Cricut Joy pen and we're going to pop it in the machine and close the clamp. Now, if you have an explorer or a maker, just remember that in those, you have to push the pen down until you hear it click. That does not happen in the Joy. You literally just set it in and then close the clamp. There's no click. Okay, so now go over to your uh, mobile device or to your desktop and select go. Okay, so the black is done, and now we just open the clamp, take out the black pen, make sure you close it up. 
um, immediately, or at least I'm always fanatic about that because I want to save my pens for as long as possible. And then we'll put in the marker and close it up and then select to go. so fun I'm so excited about being able to use this feature for all of my party invitations and Christmas okay so now we open the clamp and we take out the pen close it up and then we just um, unload the mat and we're done and look how great that turned out we'll move our joy out of the way and literally you just take it off the mat and there you have a perfect envelope Okay, so those turned out really well, right? So I hope that you will try this um, and you will use all the different pens and things. I actually want to get some additional pen colors to what I have now. The blacks are beautiful, but I am in love with the markers, which is the one that I use for the drawing. Um, and so I hope you like what we did here today. And if you did, give me a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you join me every week for new videos. And all of the things that we used today, I've linked up down below so you can hop down and check those out. All right, guys, see you next time.